So today I'm going to do a video about a topic I don't really like to talk about very much, and that is the work. Now, I've kind of found that people hate doing the work, and they really are not all excited about some methodology that they're going to have to do in order to get the results that they want. They just want the results. They don't really want to do the method. They don't really want to do the work. Um, and I think that's because it sounds like the work is hard. So if the work is hard, then they want to just avoid it. And I'll just give you an example of something that happened with me recently. And like, I've known, like, since I started this whole coaching thing that I need to build an email list and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. I'm like, how am I even going to figure out this email stuff? Um, I just didn't want to sit down and try to figure out how to set up an email campaign and make a lead magnet. I didn't know, like, what what kind of lead magnet my audience would want. But like when I look back at it, of course I know what kind of lead magnet my audience wants because, you know, I've been in those groups. I know those people. I know what kinds of things they love to download and they love to watch. So the whole idea that I don't know what lead magnet to make, that was just, that was not true. And the other thing was this idea that I can't do an email sequence because I don't know what to say in emails. Um, so that was another thing that I had going through my mind is I'm just going to write something in emails that people really won't want to read or I guess I overthought it way too much. And so then I just didn't do it. And even though like, I knew I needed to do it. I just, I just didn't want to go through the steps and do it. So like, and this went on, I don't even want to say how long it went on for. So it went on until I went to this virtual retreat where, um, she went through an email sequence and I still felt really overwhelmed, even doing it during the retreat. I'm like, there's no way. And I was still like trying to avoid it and everything. But I realized, you know, I'm probably thinking about it in the wrong way. And even my coach, as amazing as she is, she doesn't always explain things in the best way. She doesn't always explain things in a way that makes sense, that gets it to like instantly um, make sense to me. And I've noticed this with a lot of people who teach marketing is it's not even really doing a template. It seems like it's an intuitive thing, but there's certain there's a certain structure to it too. And so I just kind of used this as an excuse to be overwhelmed. But it's really not overwhelming once you have the confidence in yourself that you can do it. And you stop overthinking it and you stop making excuses. And this kind of applies to making videos too. Video, making videos, it's not hard. Like once you have the basic steps of what you need to do, it's not hard. It's the whole psychological thing of what if people don't like my videos? <laughs> and then, you know, it can just stop you from making them if you're thinking that. But if you're not thinking that and you have a different idea in your mind and you have a reason that you want to make videos and it really helps if you have somebody encouraging you to do the thing. And then you can get the results. 
So that's my take on the work and how to get past that I don't want to do the work thing. It really helps when you can see somebody modeling doing the work so that you know what doing the work looks like so that it doesn't feel overwhelming anymore. And it really helps if this is a person who encourages you and says, you can do this. It's not about that person making you do the thing, it's about seeing them do it, and then you can do it too. 